It's like pretty much all their fights is done in like seconds. Three more coming in there. And we have the big belugas too. This might be a bit more of an issue. How are they shooting us from below? Oh no, the other guy shot us from below. And so Otto can just do tons of damage to them. And the big boys? I'm having faith in you, Otto, here. Yeah, there you go. Can we please hit this guy? Why aren't you shooting this dude? There we go, one left. He's in a very precarious position. I don't know what is. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, I wonder what his uh, plan is. Like, maybe the game will get harder, we'll see. Hello there. Thank you for the follow, Easy. Uh, OZ, that's very kind of you. Nice. That makes the weapon boost a little bit easier. Plasma Cannon Railgun Mark II. Personal Shield. And then we have the Standard Engine 2. So we have the better engines that we want. Um, we don't need a Personal Shield, but those Grav Boots, we definitely need those. Get those for Wolf. Give you... Oh my god, they give you a crazy amount of movement speed. I... And Bilbo too. Nice. The other lot don't need to move around, so it doesn't matter too much. Alright, missile launcher on this side now. Perfect. So now the next upgrade will be the engines. They're actually pretty cheap to do. Only 1800? Alright. 10,000? We're going for it. <laughs> I need the money. Otherwise, we're going to have to keep doing these missions over and over again. All the money belong to us. This will pay for our engine upgrades, our armor upgrades, all of that stuff. How are you doing, Toast Life? How's life, brother? So we're going to throw everything at him. Hopefully it works. Now we get the base quadrant exterior, locate Anger Hake. So we've dealt with Anger Hake in the past. We haven't died we haven't died to them, and they haven't died to us. Seems like a pretty fair fight to me. Alright, there we go. Let's just not run into any boulders. Wait, where are they? Two, there he is. Oh, oh, okay, so when those things are launched, they just hit you. Like, you can't dodge them. Maybe if you do evasive maneuvers, maybe that's how you do it. The radiation is kind of annoying, but it's not enough to warrant concern, really. Maybe do a focus fire and a boost on Otto. So you can do some decent damage to these guys. And the missiles are definitely doing more. Yeah, look at that. I suppose if they all target one place, like if they target Bilbo here, then yeah, that might be a bit of an issue. Just something we have to keep an eye on. Also, let's just do this quickly. Oh, there's some we haven't marked. There we go, two more fighters inbound. 
So the reason we're doing this is to get our shields back. Hopefully Bilbo will not go and die from all of this radiation. He should be fine. I'm in good, man. Feeling, uh, feeling relaxed. Happy to uh, just get some gaming. Works, uh, works definitely a little bit tiring right now, so it's nice to just chill. Whoop! <laughs> it looks like all of our front cabin is now irradiated. I missed the ball. Oh, Bilbo's irradiated again. It's not good for business. That uh, thing's lost its, uh... Lost its, uh, stuff. Ah, uh, Bilbo's fine. Just has to recover a little bit here. Like, he's not injured, he's just radioactive. Can I send him to the healing bay? Oh, never mind, it went away. Oh, does this actually heal up? Yeah, it heals up radiation, okay. So you can either wait for it over time, or do it like that. Yeah, it's pretty much Bomber Crew too. It's by the makers of Bomber Crew, just in space. Alright, here we go. Right, defense time. This is where dreams are made of. Let's see what we can do. Good hits there. Let's just bring in the support now. You can always just wait until it comes back, you know. Let's do this real quick so we don't get hit. Make sure we don't take damage from the uh, triangular people. Yeah, this thing's only single player. You do have the ability to bring in quite a lot of AIs though. Just realized I brought these things in way too early. I'm gonna have to wait until they're recharged. There we go. More guys coming in. Four targets, and another one here. Come on, baby. You gotta hit these, Otto. Nice. And two more coming in. Lost a few shields, but it should be fine. And is this guy gonna be able to grab? If Otto keeps missing... Let's get Bilbo in. There we go. At the same time, just fix this real quick. There we go. Bilbo, man of the door, just annihilating. I'd like to see it. Let's just get him to repair this real quick. Nice. You know what? I'm gonna go in without any support. Screw it. We'll do the inspirational speech so they come back quicker. But we'll go in without any support and see if we can survive. So we'll add an extra layer of difficulty here. There we go.
Wait, he's not here? Did we go the wrong way? Maybe we have more time than I thought. Oh well. I thought it was only two. Or maybe that was the fast way. Let's retrieve the item. Nice. Oh, what? Hold up. What's this shit? There's a guy on board. Well, that's new. Kind of interesting, actually. <laughs> so we've had one thing that sets fire to everything. And we've had another where we literally got jumped. So it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of funny. One day our things will hit, and it will be a glorious day. So these things definitely do more damage than the old ones. Whether they do enough to actually harbor anything is uh, another question. There we go. We can just do this after killing one. And we'll get all of our shields back. We'll get some nice little hits over and over again. Missiles are so inaccurate when you're moving about. Look at that. <laughs> so far off. But it's okay. Like the accuracy of uh, Bilbo should be able, should mean that we should hit everything when we put on the boosters. So it's not too bad. There we go. Nice. Oh, is that a new ship? That looks like a new ship. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's new because it has armored plating on it. Whether it has any new enemies on is a different question. Nope. Same enemies. Time for Bilbo to say hello. Oh dear. Go repair that Bilbo, would you? Be a good lad. Nice. Let's just quickly repair this while we're waiting. Nice. Get it up to full so if anything does go wrong, we can fix it. I do actually have quite a lot of firepower here. That was a horrific noise. We can just do evasive and get our shields back. Bilbo needs a shotgun. If there was one, he would have one. Right, let's go defense, increase evasiveness. So I'm still kind of worried about these big guys here. They seem to be the main enemy we have to worry about. We are knocking stuff off them now, so... They can't have too much health left. Oh, that guy just got absolutely chunked. Nice, well done. So see, there's three different things. So you've got shields, armor, and then just general hit points. When it comes to the enemies. And it seems like it's exactly the same for you too, so... So you deal with the shields first, then the armor, then the general health. Alright, one more. Just add a ton of missiles there. Beautiful. Alright, to the objective we go. Let's get home.
Okay, this is for all the marbles. Pretty sure we're in the right place. I hope we're in the right place. This is where the champion should be. There he is. Right, Bilbo's already firing. Let's get also on the job too. Let's see how much damage we can do. Try and take his shields out. Nice. You know what? We're going to go on an aggressive footing. He's already at like half health, so... Can't really take much more. Oh god. Didn't mark these guys. Whoa! Come on, he's so close to dying. Get the focus and boost. Try right, keep hitting him, keep hitting him with the railgun. Doing great. Keep it up. Let's do the inspirational speech to get our stuff back up quickly. Oh, there's so many of them. Now we have evasion on. Does everybody use their stuff? Nope. Focus fire on auto. Focus fire and boost on this. Come on, he's so low. Finish him. Come on, give us that 10k. Give me the 10k. Give me the 10k. Yeah. Alright. Woo! That means we can upgrade everything. Good stuff. That makes our life so much easier. Good stuff, man. Alright, back to base we go. Nice. Easy as pie. Now we're just gonna bum rush home, or at least try to. Oh wait. Some technology, nice. So this will give us some nice research. Get the scan on by Abigail. And we'll get attacked as usual. Because this game is very predictable. Those big guys are very annoying to deal with, so hopefully we crunch it. There we go. Nice. Well done, everybody. Oh, we still got hit by them. God, that's annoying. They didn't actually hit anybody, though, so we don't have to worry too much. It does seem like radiation is going to become a bigger thing going forward. Still haven't broken the shields. Now they have. Whoop! <laughs> Like basically you have, so you have this ability which regenerates your shields, then you have the ability... Oops. You have the ability to regen your shields, right? Then you have the stealth ability that regenerates your shields. Then you have the um, EMP ability that regenerates your shields. Probably focus a little bit there. So we're about to lose an engine here. Right, Ambi. Oh, Wolf, sorry. Time for you to go fix the engine. And 
and stealth. So we won't take any more damage just for now. This is probably the most broken one. So you can just reset a fight whenever you feel like it. Also get all of your boosts and stuff back. Which is probably the bigger thing. These big chunky things are getting annoying though. Not killing them very fast, I wish we killed them a little bit quicker. We're just still not really taking any damage. I could just use an EMP and annihilate them as well. Like, there's so many options that I can use to control the fight. This makes it very easy to do. But yeah, if you, if you don't, I suppose, know how to use all the buttons and when to use them, I suppose this game will be quite tough, but... I mean, right now it's uh, just doing stuff in order over and over again. Hey Yoshi, how you doing, man? Engage. Right, so we're at the Beta Quadrant Center. Uh, we just want to get home. I think we have like two or three jumps after this, so we can't do this one too quickly. I suppose if it gets a little bit hairy, we should. Thank you for the follow, Dampire. And also thank you for the subscription, Droidica. That's very kind of you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Oh, there we go. Firing a few lasers. Not doing exactly a ton of damage to anything. Guessing the lasers are good for destroying shields. Then we go bonk, then we go bonk, bonk, bonk. Now we just wiggle a bit, as usual. Been pretty good, just had a lovely evening with the pearl. Now I'm here. Well, that's good, man. Great to hear, brother. But there's one person... Oh no, there's just a, such a clusterfuck of people. There we go. Like, I suppose if you played Bomber Crew, then this, you know, this isn't really hard. But maybe that's the thing. Nice, good hit. This makes a couple of times I've watched and enjoyed the content and commentary. Oh, it's alright, brother. I'm glad you enjoy it, man. Oh, we'll just go for the charge. They're not gonna get anywhere near us here, so. Or well, they're not gonna do any damage to us. The worst that could happen is we bring some radiation into the next sector, so I think it'll be okay. Let's see. Thank you, Droidica. It's very kind of you. And you. I think I'm just gonna jump this one. Or maybe there's nobody here. Actually, I, I don't think there's anybody here. <laughs> Alright, well, no need to jump then. Just do it normally. God, a, look how big of a hole we have back here, though, when it comes to the paint. And up here as well. But still, didn't really take any damage. Got a bit choppy on the reactor, but that was about it. There's just nobody there.
Home sweet home. 10k in the bank, 25k XP. Can't go wrong with that. We have the weapon system to boot. Missiles seem to be doing quite a lot of work, which is good. And Anger Hake is gone. Space of Mark II. We're level 11 on a lot of our crews. Plasma Cannon, no. What a waste of time those things are. Like, I understand the point of them, but... Like, I've, I've never had anything taken out, so... Is this just a more heavy one? No. Unless we get it for Bilbo. What does Bilbo have on? Oh, there we go. Get it for Bilbo. Gets a little bit more movement speed and still tanky. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we're gonna annihilate everybody. But we can upgrade the engines now. So now we'll get a bit more evasion. Then we can start working on the armor. I should probably get the rear plating, shouldn't I? Seems to be where they shoot the most, the bottom and the top. Now we have to expand another thingy. Or we have to save a scientist. What bounties do we have left? Ooh, who's this? Tuxum? Quig D. Tuxum. Pilots a modified mine layer craft. While still as slow and clumsy as a standard mine layer, it appears to have been strengthened somewhat. Our scans indicate that Phasmid mine layer pilots are often physically weaker and have a higher body fat percentage than fighter pilots. Quodi Tuxum appears to be no exception. So he's a thick boy. Uh, as we know. Vorb Kib is still out there. We've only seen him twice. Um, I think we would absolutely massacre the boy now. Do we rescue a scientist? Or expand the, hy the hypergate? Eh, we'll do this and we'll do the fast way. Right, so we have more armor now. There we go. Bigger engine, so we should have higher evasiveness. Let's see. Eh, it's a little bit higher. Doesn't really help though, like, it, it needs to be a little bit more, you know? For me to care anymore. He's hiding in fear, seems to be. This mine layer guy might be a problem though. Like, those mine layers, like, let's say it has like double the amounts of the, the mines. We might have a real issue. Oh, it's Kib! Alright, he's back. Never mind. Brother wants to fight? Something tells me you're gonna get absolutely fucked up, my boy Kib. Gonna absolutely annihilate the boy. Look at, <laughs> Look at Otto, he's already crippling him. God damn. Only two? Seems a bit odd. No, Void Kib has no chance. He does no damage either. The extra plating is working wonders. Ah, there they are. Quite a lot of them down there, actually. Let's just do the evasion so we can hit this guy. I think I have everybody targeted. Just gotta keep firing. Going to overdrive. Let's get hands on the focus fire and the boost. Got Wolf on it too. See if we can do a decent amount of damage here. Let's 
just calm it down for a second. Let's make sure everything's okay. There we go. Do the EMP. There we go. Wait, what do you mean black hole? Wait, hold up. What the fuck? It said black hole. What? What's a black hole doing here? Do we need to get out of here? A little bit worried now. What do I do against the black hole? Is it gonna suck us in or something? Hold on, Bilbo. Oh, we need to get back there now. Just in case anything goes wrong, really. Right, let's get all the focus fire and stuff on. Right, they're all getting annihilated. Right, the thing about Void Kib there was that it wasn't actually him that was the issue. It was dealing with all of the others around him. Like, Kib doesn't seem to be too strong, but his posse ain't too bad. Yeah, we're playing Space Crew, having a bit of fun. Yeah, it kind of feels like Star Trek in a way. What did the black hole do? Did the black hole do anything? Very confused. Two down already, good start. Oh, keep in that big one. Small, small fights is coming in. Nice, big one down. So these things really don't do that much damage. They did before, but now that we've upgraded the shields, they're kind of useless. The railguns are doing enough to them. I don't think they're too shotting them, but they're definitely getting close. Let's just charge. Screw it. Like, if this is all you're going to throw at me, like, I'll just charge and go. Forty seconds. Then the last guy. Did he shut off any of our systems? No. Alright, let's go in. I love it how we have to retrieve the item. I thought the item was a scientist. Is he in a box somewhere? Is that the issue? Isaacs? Well, at least we don't have the lady who's just blowing up uh, the space stations. Oh god. So we're gonna get attacked while retrieving him. It's a bit of a dirty move. Let's get in quickly then. Right, we 
units going defensive quickly. Uh, defense. You get over here. We have a lot of fighters coming in. Right, performance, fighter cruiser. Right, should be everything. I'm good on shields right now. Wait, is the guy in here? Oh no, he's with something, okay. Right, we've tagged everything. Just gotta watch out for the- Oh, what a hit! Look at that, right in the center. I mean, it seems like the w the place to hit with the radiation is over here, though. Let's try and get it. Yeah, Scott was an issue. Isaacs, I have much more faith in. I'm guessing he's gonna get lost a lot less. Or at least you'd hope so. And Bilbo, let's just get the boosts on. And same, Wolf. There we go. Oh, what is that thing? Now, with the cruiser inbound, we're probably not going to take any damage here. So let's go back to the base. Looks like there's one person left. Radiation is wearing off. And off we go. We'll take the fastest route again. Just have to micromanage a little bit and we should be fine. Oh wait, there's a scannable. Go to the scannable and then we'll go to the fastest route. It'll take us a little bit of time, but that's fine. Got Abigail on the scanner. Wait, what does that say? Chronos Photon Spear, Increased Enemy Activity, Hyper Jumps 2, and the other one's 3. Eh, we'll just go the safest route then, if it's only 3, 